Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the mechanism of uh, the reaction of alcohols with the hydrogen halides. In our last video we have learned that when you react the alcohol molecule with any halogen acid like suppose HCl, hydrochloric acid, so what you get? You get alkyl halide. Here the hydroxide group is replaced by the chlorine. So this is a substitution reaction. Hydroxide group is being substituted by the chlorine and you get also the water because hydroxide reacts with the hydrogen and forms water. This is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. We call it as SN reaction. But whether alcohol undergoes SN reaction through SN1 mechanism or SN2, it actually depends on the type of an alcohol, what kind of an alcohol it is. And one more point, hydroxide group as such is considered to be uh, a bad leaving group. Okay, it's not easy to remove the hydroxide group. So therefore, in an acidic mediums, hydroxide in acidic medium reacts with the proton and then it forms a better leaving group like this. Hydroxide group, which is a poor leaving group, so it's not easy to replace this OH from the alcohol. Therefore, first of all, the hydroxide due to protonation forms a better leaving group, a good leaving group. Now you can see oxygen with the positive charge, it can replace here with both electrons and you know this water can be replaced by any nucleophile, right? So now the substitution is possible. Nucleophile, you know, as such cannot replace the hydroxide from here, rather it can easily replace the, uh, you know, the water molecule from this one, right? So after protonation, you know, uh, you, you get a better leaving group, substitution is possible. Now in this molecule, substitution can occur. But whether this alcohol undergoes SN1 mechanism or SN2 mechanism, it actually depends on what type of an alcohol it is. Is it a primary, secondary or a tertiary, right? So if I you know, write down here a primary alcohol, it looks like this. In a primary alcohol, there is only one alkyl group. So here in this case, we got three alcohol molecules, which is here, this one is a primary one degree alcohol, this is secondary alcohol, and this one is tertiary alcohol. After protonation, right, after the protonation here on the hydroxide group, okay, now the nucleophilic, you know, nucleophile can attack on this particular carbon here, and it can replace the water. But the mechanism can either be SN1 or SN2, it depends what type of an alcohol it is. Generally, the primary alcohols, right, the primary alcohols can undergo the, you know, substitution through SN2 mechanism here, right? It is SN2 mechanism. And secondary and the tertiary here, in this case, they follow the SN1. Because we know that in SN1, what you get? An intermediate of a carbocation, right? You know, when SN1 mechanism occurs there, water is replaced here, okay? Water comes off. So after the water comes off, what do you get from this one? From the tertiary one, you get the carbon, alkyl, three alkyl groups, and the positive charge. This is a carbocation, which is tertiary, three degree carbocation, tertiary carbocation. And from here, what do you get? You get a secondary carbocation, right? This is a secondary carbocation. And from, alga, from primary alkanes, from, uh, from primary alcohols, what you get? You'll get a one degree alcohol if it follows SN1 mechanism. But we know that SN1 mechanism is not possible here because the, because the carbocation that you get will be one degree. So therefore, it is easy for the alcohol molecule to follow SN2 mechanism. And in SN2, the nucleophile attacks from the backside, right? So you don't get any kind of a carbocation as an intermediate in the primary alcohols, right? And then here from this one, you know, the chlorine can attack on it right here in the second step here also it can attack on it and you get alkyl halide but what about the what about the uh, primary alcohols they follow SN2 mechanism right so primary alcohols they follow SN2 mechanism secondary and tertiary they generally undergo the SN1 mechanism because there's a lot of difference right right there's a lot of difference in the stability, okay, of the carbocations here. 
So in the SN2 mechanism, what happens here? You got the carbon with one alkyl group, two hydrogen atoms, oxygen is there, which is protonated. Now the nucleophile here, the Cl negative will attack on the back side here of the carbon. At the same time, it will be lost, right? And then you get what? You get alkyl halide. Okay, you get carbon with alkyl group, hydrogen two, and the chlorine, and you get the water also. But the mechanism is SN2. We don't have any intermediate as a carbocation in this reaction. You get a transition state here, and then finally that transition state converts into the alkyl halide. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.